To learn more about this coconut oil pre-poo technique, click the link here. So once you have the coconut oil on your hair, I usually allow this to sit for at least 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and sometimes I even sleep overnight as a deep conditioner, and then I'll just wash my hair the next day. So right now, I am using Alakay Naturals Caribbean Coconut Milk Shampoo. It's a mouthful, but this stuff is amazing. I forgot to actually show you the product in the container, but it is a liquid shampoo, which is so easy to like get on your scalp because nowadays, most people say you should be shampooing your scalp, not necessarily your hair. So this product makes it so easy to get it on the scalp, to really massage it, and then allow it to get on the strands of your or the length of your hair as well so i usually shampoo only one time and then i will rinse my hair and now it is time to condition our hair and the product that we're going to be using is their caribbean coconut milk conditioner and again this product has amazing slip it makes detangling so easy and i mean your hair will just feel amazing when you use this product Throughout my wash day, you will notice that I'm doing a lot of finger detangling and the praying hands method because I don't really like having a detangling session. I like to do it gradually throughout the process so it won't be so tedious later on. You will also notice that I twist each section after I'm done because I don't want my hair to start to revert or to tangle back up after all this hard work. I will twist my hair and move on to the next section and just repeat the whole conditioning and finger detangling session. <laughs> rinsed out all the conditioner and let me show you what my hair is looking like I swear I feel like I could like totally rock a wash and go with this um with alike look at those curls pop it look at them loved it so we're going to work section by section. The first product we're going to be using is the lemongrass leave-in conditioner. And hopefully this will spray right so you can see what I was talking about. When you spray it, can you see how far it's just spraying over my whole head? Can you see that spray? You see how misty that is? Alright, so lock method. Right now we put the liquid leave-in. Next, we are going to be doing the cream next, okay? So, we're going to do the LCO method today. So, this is their Shea Yogurt Moisturizer. So, I just grab some, and it melts in your hands. And we're just going to place it on our hair. We'll go section by section in a few minutes. I noticed that this mixture is really thick it's so thick it makes my hair feel very smooth and buttery but it's still really thick and it's almost like it needs something else so that's why i decided to do the lco method with this with these products because once you put this cream on the moisturizer it just feels like it needs something to loosen it up so that's when i use the pomegranate hair elixir on top because as soon as you place this oil on your hair it loosens up the cream and then it just feels so smooth like butter it just brings everything together 
so that moisture is locked in there. So now I'm gonna separate this section. And Banty Knot. And this isn't going to be a style. This is just going to be the lock method. Okay, you guys? Look at those curls. Amazing, right? Look at that one. It's amazing. I learned this from um, Edwin <laughs> off of, um, from Carol's Darter. He calls these piano keys. <laughs> Have you guys heard of that? It's called piano keys. He said, put your fingers through and then wiggle your fingers like you're doing, you're playing a piano. And if you get stuck, then let your fingers go. But eventually you'll be able to keep going all the way through, like so. The final step of the lock method, well, our wash day and lock method, I've been using the Tropic Isle Living Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And this stuff is amazing. It's super thick. It stinks. Ugh. Oh my God, it smells like tar, like for real. So what I do is I just pour some in my hand, dab my finger in my hand, and I just put it in my parts. And it's okay if it gets on your hair. We don't want to clog our pores. But this castor oil is supposed to strengthen your hair. It promotes scalp health. It has healing properties. Um, and it just makes your hair stronger, thicker, and longer. So that is the final step of our wash day and lock method. We will style our hair tomorrow. So I hope you guys stay tuned for part two. And it's very important that I break these up because that's like the biggest, biggest tip that I wish someone gave me when I first went natural is your wash day and your style day should be separate. Wash day, you need to just make sure that you're really sealing in that moisture and allowing your hair to air dry. Um, I personally don't like using a lot of heat on my hair, although I am going to have a tutorial on blowouts, wine curls, like heat styling, um, but I'm just not a fan of heat. Um, so wash day should be all about moisture and to stretch a little bit and then the next day is when we will be styling and we will be doing that tomorrow um, but anyway so I hope you guys learned a few things on my wash day with Allocate Naturals if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you tomorrow goodbye curls Mwah.